today on Kinda Tika, we are going to go to Zaragoza, which is one of the towns nearby Rincon where we live. So we're going to show you the park and the town and just kind of an overview of the entire place. Hey guys, um, right now we are at a store. We are going to pay our electric bill. Um, paying your electric is a bit different than it is in the States. Here you go to somebody's house <laughs> who uh, you pay the electric bill here. So it's a bit different and it's really close to our house, which is really nice. Our house is actually just down the street. So I'll show you guys that later, but yeah. Hey guys, so now we are at the bus station waiting for the bus to Zaragoza, which is about like, I don't know, like it's a mile like, a, like a mile and a half away. Uh, the bus is pretty cheap, so we're just going to take that instead of walking. <laughs> Hi, okay, we have made it to Zaragoza, which is a small town just outside of Palmares. Um, we are also really close to the road, so you can probably hear all the cars. Um, but we, the really cool thing about a lot of churches in Palmares is they usually have a park in front of them. And that's a really cool thing that I really love. So this is one of the parks in Zaragoza that is my absolute favorite. Poco loves this park and it's just great. So this is a little bit of what the park looks like. The camera does not do it justice. As you can see, there are dogs walking around. Completely normal, as I said in my last video. Um, but this is one of my favorite places ever. Uh, people just hang out here all day. It's great. Um, so as you can see, there is a church just behind the entrance of the park. So I'm going to show you guys that. As well as the cutest dog ever. Oh my goodness. Okay, so basically, we don't know how old this church is. But I rarely ever see it open. So I don't know if it's just kind of run down. But I'm not sure. So this is basically the church and then the park just kind of goes all the way around it I'm looking for any black iguanas but yeah but there's usually a lot of iguanas here which is poco hates iguanas <laughs> um but there's usually a lot of iguanas here um but this is one of my definitely my favorite places hey guys so i want to show you a close-up of this really pretty church um it's so pretty i love it so much um I just think everybody deserves a close-up of it so here it is and then there's my dad and it's just beautiful everywhere here is beautiful um, the next place we're gonna be taking you is actually right over here there is a few a fruit and vegetable stand there which is so good and that we're gonna go there and get some fruits and veggies this, this church was built in 1923, so it's pretty old, but still so pretty. Okay guys, we have just made it to the fruit and vegetable stand, which is called Frutas y Venduras, which directly translates to fruit and vegetable stand. Um, as you can hear, they're playing music. This is very common. They play music all the time, all the time. So we're going to go get in there and get some of our favorite fruits and veggies. We usually come here when we miss the feria. And remember the feria is the farmer's market. And the farmer's market is only on Saturdays. So if we miss the feria for some reason, we always come here. So let's go in. Okay, so this is what it, all their fruits and vegetables. I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to say it's a squash. Um, my dad has already made a beeline for the piña, because piña is his favorite. Um, so I'm just going to show you some of my favorite fruits and veggies here. Um, so they have pastries and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not a pastry person, so I won't try them. <laughs> um, so some of my favorite things... Oh, he, he loves passion fruit. One of, some of my favorite things are these green limes. So you take these... And you mix them, you, you take all the juice out, and you mix them with water and sugar, and it's like the best lemonade you'll ever have. Watermelon. The watermelon here is so good all the time. I just, oh, it's so good. And he makes cups out of coconuts, which is weird, but oh well. Um, also, what I told you guys, the piña here is amazing. The pineapple is so good. And I don't think you've ever seen a pineapple this ripe in the States. I'm just saying the truth. 
So we got some yuca, which is yucca, and um, some papayas, lettuce, cantaloupes, just a lot of different stuff, which I love all of it. They have honey, so much honey, so much honey. <laughs> um, my dad is going after the vegetables right now, and the pipa fria, which is cold coconut. Um, we got lots of tomatoes, and then, uh, I forget what these things are called. Hey, Padre, what are these called? Oh, uh, cachote, cachote, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but they're like a jacote, oh, that's it. Uh, so they are like a potato type of vegetable um people put them in stews and stuff and apparently they like them i don't but that's okay got lots of onions they're working on some stuff so this is tamarindo which is one of my dad's favorite drinks you kind of put it in how do you make it take it boil it in water uh-huh and then uh Basically, add sugar to taste, and mm -hmm. mix it in with more water and cool it down. Uh huh. It cold. Uh huh. It's like it's like a lemonade. It's a sour. It's a sweet sour. He likes it. It freaks me out, so I will not try it. <laughs> but I promise you guys, I have gotten better at tasting things since we got here. I just am still extremely picky. Um, they have like these things. I think they're a type of squash. I really don't know because I don't pay enough attention. Uh, but, so we are just going to get some stuff here. So far, they are the best place for green apples. I have not found a better place to buy green apples yet, so definitely going to get those. And for all of my avocado fans, they have an entire crate of avocados here. So, and they're so cheap. They're so cheap. So, this oh, okay, one more thing. The size of the carrots here is insane. These are small. Things. And these ones are small. These ones aren't even the size of like normal carrots here. They're huge. So yeah, I just want to show you guys around here and hopefully you loved it as much as we love it here. Okay guys, so we are about to check out. The lighting in here is so bad. But we are about to check out and we have gotten three pineapple, two coconuts, a watermelon, four green apples, a chocolate pastry, some juice, three carrots, and celery, and an onion. So we are going to tell you the total price so that you can see the difference between the price of fruits and vegetables in the States than the price of fruits and vegetables. Here is a little bit of a picture of our entire haul. My dad's weird chocolate pastry and my golden berry juice, which I have never had in my entire life, but I'm going to try it anyway. And we're going to see how much all this is. So this should be fun. Okay guys, so we just got the total price for all the stuff I just showed you, and it was 12,000 colones, which is around $20. So for all of that that we just showed you, that was $20. So that just kind of shows how cheap it is to get fresh fruits and vegetables here. So it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Okay guys, so we just left the fruit place and my dad is obsessed with his muffin that he bought there. He's weird. He eats weird things. Okay, so right behind me is Del Mar. Del Mar is a great place here in Zaragoza to get fresh fruit, fresh seafood. So good and it's actually a pretty decent price. So highly recommend if you ever happen to be in this area to get taxi. stuff there. And we have a taxi. So we gotta go. Okay guys, we just got back from our haul from getting fruits and vegetables. Um, Zaragoza has so much more. There's lots of stores there. Um, it is really beautiful. It's very small, but there's a lot of stuff to do there. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of Costa Rica and a little bit of Zaragoza. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.